There is a will. I think also there is a way. And the task for the leaders in these next few weeks and months is to show people that the world came together in 2009, that it came together in pursuit of a cause that is morally right, but also for our economy, long term, is the only way of providing sustainable development. Poor communities need an agreement that meets their needs. They, they need financing that helps them to, uh, to adapt to and mitigate against rapidly changing climate. And they need voices, like the voices up here, the very powerful voices at real forums, world forums that have the power to change things for everybody's benefit. We, we stand at an exciting point here where if we get the next few weeks and months right, we'll unlock a clean green revolution. The future will be better. This is a business opportunity, an opportunity for civil society, an opportunity for the youth of the world to see this is the time we are going to solve environmental challenges, build new platforms of global collaboration and work together in a way that's fit for purpose for the 21st century. So for, to each and every one of you, look to what you can do to contribute to that success. We at the Climate Group are ready to do our part. Uh, and uh, I'd like to thank you all for coming. So thank you very much. The world is simply losing its ability to provide for our needs. It starts here, today. You're a member of Team Earth. Get off the bench and into the game. Paper is very fragile, it's ephemeral, and often doesn't last long. And here's a way that this origami can have an effect that will last for a long time. I there is a UN discussion going on. The President of Guyana who will be making a call to the UN tomorrow uh, specifically about the rainforest. So while there are, are many threatened biomes, the rainforest is the one that uh, all of this event is about um, and that the action is going right now. So to fit with the CI event, rainforest is the origami topic. change is unequivocal, it's clear, it's compelling. Uh, there is an overwhelming consensus in the scientific community that uh, global warming is well underway. The burning of fossil fuels by humans is uh, driving uh, dramatic changes in our climate. And then if we do not act swiftly, that we are in great peril of harming the ability of this planet to sustain life as we know it. If you look at where young people are in this country, that this last fall we, see, we saw a huge increase in civic participation. Youth turned out and voted in record numbers in the polls. And we did that because I think young people intuitively understand the interconnection between all of these issues and the interconnection of our generation, the most diverse generation in American history, that these issues of between jobs, justice, and climate really are our future and that young people, and the polling reflects this, want to see a new clean energy economy. And I, I work with young people across the country at, in community colleges, um, getting jobs training, and at universities studying the, the next generation of technology that's gonna solve this crisis. And 
that understanding and, and that in, into intuition not uh, also extends to our our economic knowledge, but also our ability at at the local level to to innovate and really create local solutions with green jobs right in our own communities. And so, I think if you look across the country, young people not only understand this crisis and the interconnection, but are ready to bring our youth, our energy, our innovation to create this new green economy across this nation. Yes. Um, for a lot of rich nations, when they have to make decisions, it's, they are making decisions because it's a life, lifestyle choice they have to make. For us in the, developed, in the least developed nations, we are talking about a choice of life and death. And because we will have to move. In the Pacific, a lot of people think about sowing palm trees and dancing girls. The scenario here is changing. Our atolls are going down and we will have to move. We need finance to move. Thank you. Bottom line here is yes, it is true those that have been most responsible for the crisis must carry the greater share of the burden. But we also have to recognize that we either all come out of this on the right side of history and having saved the planet or we all go down together.